trailblazing heroine of the Civil War. In the annals of the American Civil War amidst the cannon blasts and the cries of soldiers, a figure emerged whose story remains a testament to courage, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. This unsung heroine, disguised as a man and known by the alias Franklin Thompson, was none other than Sarah Emma Edmonds. Born in Canada in 1841, Edmonds would go on to defy societal norms, risking everything to play a vital and multifaceted role in the Union Army during one of the most tumultuous periods in American history. Escape and Transformation From Sarah to Franklin, Edmonds' journey into the heart of the Civil War was fueled by a desire for freedom and a thirst for adventure. Fleeing her Canadian home to escape an arranged marriage, Edmonds sought to break free from the constraints that society imposed upon women in the 19th century. Adopting the name Franklin Thompson, she embarked on a journey that would lead her to the front lines of the conflict, tearing the United States apart. Edmonds' transformation from Sarah to Franklin was both physical and psychological. To convincingly assume the identity of a young man, she cut her hair short, bound her chest, and adopted the mannerisms and demeanor expected of a male soldier. Her disguise was remarkably successful, allowing her to slip unnoticed into the ranks of the 2nd Michigan Infantry in 1861. Soldier, nurse, spy, Edmund's multifaceted service. Once enlisted, Edmonds became a Swiss army knife of talent and dedication. She wasn't content with merely being a spectator to the war. Instead, she actively sought ways to contribute to the Union cause. Edmonds' service in the Union Army spanned multiple roles, each revealing a new facet of her courage and resourcefulness. Soldier in the ranks, Asterisk Edmonds, now Franklin Thompson, participated in several key battles, including the harrowing First Battle of Bull Run and the Battle of Williamsburg. On the battlefield, she proved her mettle as a soldier, enduring the hardships of war alongside her comrades. Nurse on the front lines. Asterisk Edmund's dedication extended beyond combat. She served as a nurse, tending to the wounded and easing the suffering of her fellow soldiers. Her skills in nursing were not acquired through formal training, but through a combination of compassion and a willingness to do whatever was necessary to help. Spy behind enemy lines. Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Edmund's service was her role as a spy. Edmunds undertook daring missions, infiltrating Confederate camps to gather crucial information about enemy positions and plans. Her ability to seamlessly navigate between personas, disguising herself as a black man or a woman, allowed her to access areas and information that proved invaluable to the Union cause. Edmunds' espionage work was not without personal risk. The discovery of her true identity would not only jeopardize her own safety, but could potentially compromise the lives of those she sought to protect. Yet propelled by an unyielding commitment to the Union, Edmonds pressed on, weaving a web of deception that confounded her enemies and earned her a place in the annals of military intelligence. Personal sacrifice and struggles, the human side of Franklin Thompson, Edmonds' journey was not without its share of personal sacrifice and challenges. The physical toll of war became apparent as she battled health issues, including contracting malaria. The strains of maintaining her masculine disguise and the rigors of battlefield life took a toll on her well-being. Yet, in the face of adversity, Edmonds exhibited resilience and determination that mirrored the spirit of many who served during the Civil War. In 1863, facing the specter of serious illness, Edmonds made the difficult decision to desert temporarily in order to seek medical attention. This decision, while necessitated by her health, underscored the complexities and difficulties faced by individuals like Edmonds, who chose to defy societal norms and actively participate in a conflict that raged on the national stage. The Missing Soldier's Office, extending compassion beyond the battlefield. Edmonds' contributions did not end with the cessation of hostilities. In the aftermath of the war, families across the nation grappled with the uncertainty of missing loved ones. Recognizing the profound need for a systematic approach to locating missing soldiers, Edmonds founded the Missing Soldiers Office in Washington, D.C. in 1865. The Missing Soldiers Office became a beacon of hope for families desperately seeking information about their loved ones. Edmonds and her team worked tirelessly to compile records, respond to inquiries, and facilitate reunions. The office's work was a poignant reminder that the human cost of war extended far beyond the battlefield, leaving families in a state of perpetual uncertainty. International humanitarianism, the Red Cross and global impact, Edmund's compassion and commitment extended beyond the borders of the United States, 
Inspired by her experiences during the Franco-Prussian War, Edmonds became acquainted with the International Committee of the Red Cross and its mission to provide neutral aid to the wounded in times of conflict. Upon her return to the United States, Edmonds advocated passionately for the establishment of an American Red Cross. In 1881, the American Association of the Red Cross was founded, with Edmonds serving as its first president. Her leadership contributed to the organization's growth and set the stage for the American Red Cross to become a pillar of humanitarian efforts both domestically and internationally. Edmonds's work with the Red Cross was not just about responding to emergencies. It encompassed disaster preparedness and education. Her commitment to the principles of humanitarianism transcended national boundaries, establishing her as a pioneer in the international humanitarian movement. Legacy and Recognition a guiding light for future generations. Sarah Emma Edmonds' legacy is one of courage, compassion, and trailblazing determination. Her contributions to the Union cause, her service on the front lines, and her establishment of the Missing Soldiers Office and the American Red Cross all form a mosaic of humanitarian endeavors that spanned the Civil War and its aftermath. Edmonds' unwavering dedication did not go unnoticed. In 1883, she received the International Red Cross's Gold Medal, an honor bestowed upon her by the Empress of Germany. As the only woman admitted to the Grand Army of the Republic in 1884, Edmund's recognition among Union veterans solidified her place in the pantheon of American heroes. Today, the Clara Barton Missing Soldiers Office Museum stands as a testament to Edmund's enduring impact. It preserves the memory of a woman who, under the guise of Franklin Thompson, wove a tapestry of compassion and service that stretched from the blood-soaked battlefields of the Civil War to the international stage of humanitarianism. Conclusion Clara Barton, the guiding light. In the grand narrative of American history, Sarah Emma Edmonds' story stands as a guiding light. A woman who defied societal expectations, who donned the uniform of a soldier and whose compassion knew no boundaries. From the battlefield to the Red Cross, Edmonds's journey exemplifies the transformative power of one individual's commitment to alleviating suffering and shaping the course of history. As we reflect on Edmonds's life, let us be inspired by the enduring legacy of a woman who turned the compassion within her heart into a force that illuminated the path toward healing and humanity.